the Tim Forster Maiden Hurdle is next. This is a three mile Maiden Hurdle this time. And at the time we've got Icon Dream for Matt Cooper. Keystroke for Alex Cherry, Balmoral Castle, Paul Rhodes, Cowboys Lady, Leon Van Rinsburg, Fedder Clyde for Padre Hogan, Mauritius, Darren Thompson, Rahi Tiwad for Daniel French and Triven Run Request. Thomas Rogers, and I see Thomas back after missing last season. And eight of them in this end. And away they go. Looking the way down towards the first of the flights of hurdles in this part of the end. Twelve of them, I'll take. And Mauritius is the early leader. Darren Thompson, who took the opening race of the season. Just earlier today, we'll be hoping for a quick fire double. The pace is somewhat pedestrian at this point. Not going very quickly at all. Leader Mauritius is now being joined by Icon Dream. The rest of them are virtually in a line as they make their crawl towards the first of these 12 flights. I'm sure they'll get there eventually. Icon Dream leads them into it. They'll get over that one well with the bat marker. Cowboys Lady, first runner of the season for Leon van Rensburg. Another of the trainers who's been on well during the off season. I could see him on the mend as well as they get over number two. And they're all safely over that one then with Icon Dream in the lead. Mauritius second. And then Fedder Clyde and Triven Run Request. Rahi Tiwad. And the trainers have already tested me. We're only in the second race and already got some tongue twisters to be contending with. And Icon Dream takes them past the winning post. They've got two complete circuits of the track to go yet. And Icon Dream is the leader. Oh, Mauritius in second. Balmoral Castle third as the angle changes. You can see Alex Cherry's orange sleeves. On Keystroke, the horse that's closest to us. The one that's just a little bit detached at the back is Cowboys Lady, but the pace, as I've said a couple of times, is pretty slow. And they've got a long way to go. And this could get tactical, could turn into a sprint. And Icon Dream bowling along in the lead. Clear by two lengths, but not putting any great pace to the rest. Mauritius is second. As they climb uphill steadily towards flight number three. And the leader stood off that one but got away with it. You can see the slow jump by the leaders allowed the field to really close in. And there's now no more than half a dozen lengths between first and last. As Icon Dream regains the initiative and gets over flight four much more smoothly than he took flight three. But Icon Dream is in the lead then from Rahi Tiwad in second. And then Balmoral Castle. Triven Run Request is after that one as they get to number five, which they're all safely over. Cowboys Lady's gone past Mauritius, who was second not so long ago, and is now just a back marker, but no more eight lengths off the leader. And the leader is Icon Dream, leads by about four lengths to the yellow jacketed Rahi Tiwad on the inside of the orange and white sleeves of Balmoral Castle. Between them, green jacketed Triven Run Request. In keystroke for the Scottish flag colours of Alex Cherry in the orange sleeves. The navy blue of oh, Leon Van Rensburg's Cowboys Lady's gone past a couple. And Mauritius on the inside of those old Sheikh Mohammed colours of Darren Thompson's. And the back marker is Fedder Clyde. Oh, Padre Hogan as they get over number six. They're all safely over that. That's the midway point in the jumping. They're slightly past midway point in the racing. But it's Icon Dream in the lead at number seven. And we'll get over that one. Nice and easily. No major drama so far, just a one mistake by the leader Icon Dream. A few flights ago as they make their way past the stand, and come past the winning post, and they'll swing out right handed from the complete circuit of the track. It's opening two weeks of the season, packed, chocker full of maidens, mostly new horses, haven't got a clue what we're looking at. Are we looking at low grade handicappers or are we looking at potential superstars? We haven't got a clue at this point which makes it all a very interesting couple of weeks and just probably talking to Matt Cooper here but don't get too disillusioned if you're finishing out the back in these early races it doesn't mean to say you're going to be finishing out the back all the time because you're probably racing against some of the horses that are going to be the top champions of the season without realising it early on and I'll find your level in the next few weeks once the handicap start said that we've only seen one race so far Matt Cooper might be as they get over the next one the exception to the rule of the person who comes in the league and wins from the start anyway Balmoral Castle it is who's in the lead at the moment from Icon Dream in second Mauritius is third Cowboys Ladies now fourth as they take the ninth 
Hawks so over that with Triven Run Request now relegated to the back, but only five lengths off the lead. And that lead is held by Balmoral Castle. About a length off on Mauritius on the outside as they get over number 10. That was a third from home and one or two of them are now starting to manoeuvre into position. It looks like we're going to get a bit of a sprint on. The long-time leader Icon Dream has now dropped to the back and has been hard ridden on the inside. There's a line of about four of them disputing the lead as they begin to swing towards the next flight and Triven Run Request on the outside probably just about showing in the lead but Rocky, Tiwod, Palmoral Castle and Fyde Kelder pretty much still there so is Mauritius, Keystrokes just dropped back a little bit, Keystrokes coming through the inside, Icon Dream is the one that's dropped out of the back but it's Rahi Tiwod on the inside who's in front from Fyde Clyde on the outside they get over that one they land virtually together between the two of them Balmoral Castle they've still got a furlong and a half to go and it's Rahi Tiwod and Fyde Clyde they've got just one more flight to take this is it over it they go and it's Fyde Clyde who lands in the lead Mauritius is coming through with a run now they're in second Balmoral Castle still there in third they're inside the final furlong and it's Fyde Clyde in the lead from Mauritius in second. Icon Dream's gone at the back, but it's Fyder Clyde who's holding on at the moment as they race up towards the line. And Fyder Clyde is going to be the first winner of the season for Pat Drago. And Fyder Clyde takes in Mauritius in second. Then Rahi Tibble and Belmont Castle, the Cowboys lady. And Keystroke was the last one to finish as Icon Dream called it a day in the straight. But Fedder Clyde, I think I must have called that six different names throughout the race. We'll get it right next time. I think Fedder Clyde, we're going to call it for now. Padraig Hogan, the winner. Mauritius for Darren Thompson, second. Balmoral Castle for Paul Rhodes was third. Rahi Tiod, Daniel French was fourth. And Cowboys Lady for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.